What is going on guys? My name is Kenji, welcome back to the channel. Hope it's not the first time you're watching one of my videos, but just in case it is, I'm a fourth year medical student, soon to be fifth year medical student studying at King's College London, and today I have a really exciting vlog for you guys. I'm actually exactly 24 hours out for my final exam in medical school, and I want to show you guys the whole entire process of how I prepare for this final exam, which is going to be tomorrow morning. So I'm really excited to take you guys along with me. Hope you guys enjoy this vlog. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. The morning started off with making my breakfast, and as you guys know, I'm not really much of a breakfast person, but I thought that as the exam is only 24 hours away, it makes sense to have a nice nutritious breakfast. So I decided to make myself some eggs, chicken sausages and tomato salsa, and of course a big cup of coffee. After force feeding myself breakfast, I then started packing for my trip to London, where I'll be spending the night before the big exam tomorrow. Packing for a trip is usually quite easy for me since I'm one of those weirdos who has checklists to make sure that I don't forget anything important. Hey, shotgun, I see, I saw it, I saw it. I got it, I got it, on, I got it on camera. I got a camera. One of you guys should set the Shotgun. Did you not hear me? Did you not hear me? Angelo, can I get the car? Pretend this is my car for YouTube. Angelo, we took I'm joking. Yeah, I think we could. Sorry, we took up a lot of Oh, sorry, I can My plan was to get the one hour train to London, but luckily my flatmate Angelo was also driving down. So all five of us med students who lived together, drove together, and we were in London in just under an hour. By this time, it was around half 12 and our stomachs were definitely in need for some food. And since it's now legal to sit inside in a restaurant in the UK, we headed to the local Nando's near our university campus, which was where I actually met some of my friends for the very first time. Kobe, man, do you recognize where we are, bro? Yeah, I don't want to say it. I don't want to say it. <laughs> where are we, bro? Where are we? Day one. Where well, we first Day met. One. That's where me and Kobe first met. Day one. Day Literally Day one. around the corner, isn't it? Yeah. This is actually my favorite Nando's in the whole entire world because it's actually quite bougie. It's situated right next to the River Thames with a view of St. Paul's, London Bridge and Canary Wharf. At Nando's, I had my usual order of butterfly chicken with medium spice, perry chips and coleslaw. My friends always roast me because I quite like mango and lime or medium spice because I definitely think anyone who has hot or extra hot is crazy. But let me know in the comments down below what flavor you normally get in Nando's. After being away from London for so long, it honestly felt so good to be back and doing something that I used to do on a daily basis, like taking the London Underground, which was so much fun and made the 45 minute journey to a hotel that much more enjoyable. All right, so I just realized I didn't actually tell you guys what I'm doing in London, why I'm actually in a hotel right now. And I thought I'd just take a second to catch you guys up. So the reason why I'm actually in London right now, as you guys know, I'm based in a hospital in Kent. Although I go to King's College London, I actually live in Kent, which is around about an hour, an hour and a half away from London. The reason why I'm actually in London is because our exam is tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. When I first found out it was at 10 a.m., I was like, that's calm, that's not too far, I can get there on time. But then a few weeks later, we got an email saying that we have to be there two hours before the exam because of COVID reasons, because of social distancing and stuff like that. Meaning that we'd have to actually be in the exam hall at 8 a.m. in the morning. Meaning that I have to actually leave my accommodation, leave where I live in Kent at around maybe six o'clock in the morning, a little bit earlier than that. So to avoid waking up super early, being super tired, you know, being worried about missing my train for the exam, me and my friends decided to actually stay in a hotel, which is literally two minutes away from the actual exam center, but it is literally over the road. So that's the reason why I'm currently in the hotel. The plan for the rest of the day is probably going to just be chilling, chill a bit, maybe do a little bit of work as well, you know, try and uh, warm up my mind for tomorrow morning. Uh, then later on today, I'll be meeting up with my friends who are also here to have dinner and then get ready for the exam tomorrow morning. So let's go ahead and keep the day rolling. <laughs> I'll see you guys in a second. So before I turn this room into an absolute mess, I thought I'd give you guys a quick tour really quickly. Um, so over here is a desk where I'll probably work a few hours today before our exam tomorrow. Over there is the door where I came in. Here's the bed I'll be sleeping on. There's a nice, uh, really big uh, window over here as well uh, to look out on. And the exam hall is literally on the other side of this building, which is perfect. Um, so that's a room. Also got a little toilet over here and I'll show you guys that real quick. See so a nice little bathroom, toilet area uh, in here as well. Nice little shower. That's me. <laughs> and uh, yeah, not, not too bad of room to be honest with you. Um, it's a travel lodge. So I was expecting this sort of like level of quality and it's actually really nice. Um, but yeah, that is the room. The next 45 minutes or so was spent relaxing and watching some YouTube videos and I actually ended up having a nap as well. A fun fact about me is that one of my great skills is being able to fall asleep pretty much instantly, whether or not I'm only taking a five minute nap or a 25 minute nap. To get me in the mood for working, I then made myself a cup of coffee and I don't know if I'm the only one, but these small things you get in hotels like free coffee really does excite me, probably a bit too much. For the next few hours, I then 
then decided to do a bit of light work. Nothing too stressful because a wise friend once told me that you should never run a marathon before you run a marathon. But there was an online revision lecture in preparation for the exam tomorrow being given by the med school that I really wanted to watch. So I did this alongside going through my Anki flashcards. Once I felt like I'd done enough work and had been somewhat productive, I then nervously left the table, knowing that this would probably be the last time I have access to my work before tomorrow's exam. But with revision now done, I picked up my phone and caught up with my friends over FaceTime, which was actually really nice as it took my mind off the impending exams. The sunset on the horizon marked dinner time, so I gathered my friends together who were also staying in the same hotel as me so that we could go and hunt for a local restaurant. Unfortunately, however, my expectations of a nice new restaurant to eat at were crushed when we soon found out that there were no restaurants in a one mile radius to our hotel. So we went on our phones and did what I've done on so many prior occasions, which was to search for the trusty Mackey D's. However, to try and spice things up, I decided to get a chicken selects meal with a Sprite Zero and my God did it bang. Our final trip of the day before driving back to hotel involved a shopping trip to Asda, where we picked up some last minute essentials for tomorrow, which was some brioche rolls that I plan to have tomorrow morning for breakfast. All right, guys, so I'm back in the room now and it is now bedtime. I've actually got my Kindle with me. So I'm going to do what I always do every single day, which is read my Kindle until I pass out. We're officially a couple of hours out now from the exam. Um, in regards to how I feel, I probably feel actually like pretty okay. I think obviously before any sort of exam, you feel you do feel a bit like on edge, a little bit anxious. So I'm a little bit on edge, um, but I think that's you know normal with every exam. I think what I'm trying to focus on right now is really trusting the you know system that I have built over the last couple of years of being in med school, trusting all my flashcards, trusting all the practice I've done. I've been you know preparing for this exam for the last you know eight months now. Um, so a lot of preparation has gone into this. I just really have to trust myself and know that I will do well tomorrow morning. Um, so yeah, I'm feeling pretty good actually. So yeah, we're leaving tomorrow at 8.30 in the morning. So I'll probably end up waking up around 7.45 in the morning get ready, have breakfast, all that sort of stuff. But I'm really tired right now, so I'm really looking forward to getting into my nice, warm uh, double bed. So I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow morning. Take care, um, sleep tight if you're going to bed as well, and I'll see you tomorrow morning. Good morning, guys. I uh, hope you're all doing absolutely amazing. It is currently around 8 a.m. morning and it's exam day, very close to leaving. Uh, I just woke up, got ready, and the plan right now is to have my traditional breakfast before every single exam, which is a Diet Coke. Highly don't recommend it, um, but before every any sort of exam, I never can get myself to eat. I think it's just like, you know, the kind of nerves of going to the exam. I can never normally eat, so I'm just gonna have a Coke, try eat if I can. If I can't, it's all good. Um, the plan this morning is to go through a few of my Anki flashcards, not necessarily to learn anything, definitely not to learn anything, just to kind of warm up my mind and get my mind ready for the actual exam. So nothing too, you know, heavy by any means, just to warm up my mind, do maybe, you know, 10 flashcards, 15 flashcards to get ready, have my Coke, and then meet up with my friends and head to the exam hall. So I'm slightly nervous, but overall, I think I'm feeling actually pretty good for this. I'm buzzing. It's a final exam of fourth year. We're just about to move into final year, so I can't actually wait to just get this exam out of the way and then celebrate with my friends and family afterwards. So, <laughs> Hope you guys are all doing amazing wherever you are and I'll see you guys on the next shot. And that was pretty much 24 hours before my final written exam in the fourth year of medical school. To let you guys know, I think the exam went pretty well. So the rest of my day involved celebrating with the people I love who I hadn't seen in such a long time. We grabbed lunch, had a few drinks and dinner before I headed back to my accommodation to rest before starting the whole entire exam process all over again in preparation for my practical exams, which are only about two weeks away. Yikes. I want to thank you guys so much for joining me on a day in my life as a fourth year medical student. And if you like this video, then here's another video that you may like as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Hey guys, I just want to quickly say that my new How to Get Into Medical School course, which contains all the information you need to know on how to get into your first choice medical school is now live. You can watch it completely free by clicking the link down below in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the rest of the video.